So one day about 1960, we find ourselves down at the uh, Brooklyn Yard, Southeast Portland, waiting for uh, the Cascades to roll by. Yeah, it looks like there's a heavy freight waiting to take off too. Still got some F7s up front. We'll see what happens. We caught that uh, E7. Looks like it has a PA behind it, moving down into position. Who knows what he's going to go out on. There's that uh, new bloody nose paint scheme introduced in 58. E96050, it's looking a little beat. It's rumored to be the only E9 in uh, Black Widow paint. E units didn't do great in the mountains. Normally they were uh, done with uh, the sure footed F units or the Elko PAs. Yeah. 6051, still in daylight paint. We'd go on uh, years later to be kept at the California State Railroad Museum and restored. Heavyweight baggage. Now oh, this one still has the three car articulated diner lounge cafe car back from the old morning daylight, coast daylight. Get off this hump and get back down. Oh, geez, one of the old cars still. There's that through car down to Los Angeles. And still a uh, rounded observation car. Finally, our E9 lead cascades, gets the high green, starts to tiptoe out of the yard. The light was set out there anyway, but heading south, Eugene, Chiliquin, Dunsmuir, Redding, Sacramento, eventually down to Oakland. That through car from Los Angeles will continue on. We were able to catch it down by uh, Oak Ridge first. And we hurried up into the mountains to get ahead of it. We were able to catch it grinding uphill. Up along out of West Fur.
Oregon City Elevator's been in service about five years now. What a great place to watch trains go by. The 1% grade puts some of these trains on their Come on, you can make it.